He was a young, ambitious man following his dreams, and now St. Paul police are searching for his killer. 19-year-old Marcus Johnson was found shot to death late Saturday night on the street in an east, not, east side neighborhood. WCCO's Jeff Wagner talked with his sister, who is determined to keep Johnson's legacy alive. We couldn't go anywhere without um, taking a photo, like literally nowhere. Marcus Johnson had a passion for fashion, showcasing his style on social media, which slowly became his own business. He just kind of made his own clothing for himself, and people loved it so much they started purchasing it. That kept his sister, Jacory Soto, busy taking pictures of him, photos in her phone that mean more now. Yeah, so much more. Than she ever expected. Yeah. Late Saturday, a driver called 911 after finding Johnson lying in the middle of the street in a pool of blood near North Kennard and Ross Avenue. He had been shot and was pronounced dead at the scene. Soto says her brother didn't live nor have friends in that area. Marcus was never a type to start an altercation. He was never the type to engage in an altercation. Police spent hours gathering evidence but haven't made an arrest. Hours later, former classmates from St. Agnes School held a vigil where Johnson was found. That's exactly what he would have done. For his classmates, he would, for anyone. Johnson volunteered with his church's youth ministry program and encouraged middle school students to pursue their passions. Impressions on young people. His sister hopes they'll never forget. We know that he's resting in God's presence, and I feel like with that peace from God, we are okay. Soto says her family forgives the people responsible for her brother's death and they feel no hatred. She just hopes someone with information will come forward to police, Amelia. Hopefully. And we All hope right. so. Thank you, Jeff. Mm -hmm.